one. This is Archive 12. And thank you all for being so patient. And I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. Whichever holiday you decide to celebrate, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I apologize for the very brief hiatus. Things are looking better now. So I have decided before the end of the year to come back a little early. I was going to start recording like the first or the second of the month, but I'm doing it now because things are better and I'm feeling a lot less stressed. And honestly, I missed you guys. I missed you guys a lot. Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, we we are celebrating 1300 subscribers here uh, over on my channel. And I am I am blown away. Thank you all for the support and the love and the continued like viewership. I cannot say enough that has, it means the world to me that you guys are still around. Um, it's been the roughest year of my life, and I am so grateful that you guys are still here with me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, but uh, anyway, today we are going to start catching up on all the songs that I have uh, missed over the last, like, what was it, two weeks, two and a half weeks, uh, starting with Divide's Nukuna song, Left Behind. Obviously for Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, still haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen. So uh, I may be missing some context clues. But it's Divide music. You don't really need context clues to truly enjoy this kind of music. And I have a feeling this is going to be incredible. This is his last song of 2023. And it's going to be one of the last reactions I do for 2023. And I have a feeling this is a good way of ending a year. So uh, without further ado... Link will be in the description below if you want to watch this without my commentary, because I will be pausing and I will be talking about it. So let's get to let's get started on this. Oh, right. Uh, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. One second. There we go. <laughs> The first thing that this reminds me of is Massive Attack's Teardrop, um, which is, for those who are unfamiliar, the theme song for House. Um, just the way it starts off with, like, just just the, the drums, and then I believe that was a piano or an organ that popped in. That's, that's the first thing that came to mind here. And that's one of my favorite songs to listen to, just, you know, as a casual listening thing. So already... I'm already enjoying that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't see any, like, additional people in this. Tyler Tate. Okay. Of Hollow Front. Where have I heard that name before? I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Uh, hold on one second. Hollow Front. Hollow Front. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. I know I've, I've I'm almost positive that I follow these guys on Instagram or Spotify. I don't know for sure. This name sounds very familiar. I just needed to check because at first I thought that was Simeway Fox screaming. Um, but normally he would have he would have thrown that in here. So I was like. I was I just needed to check because I didn't see it. That doesn't sound like one of divide screams. No, oh, my 
my god. This is how you're choosing to end 2023. Divide. Oh my god. To be fair though, as I said, this has been one of, if not the worst year of my life. So this kind of anger and aggression and, and like energy is speaking to me. This is speaking to my soul right now. This is how I would want to end 2023, and I'm so glad I'm getting to this reaction before the new year, because, oh my god, I want to leave this, this entire year behind, and this is, this is, this is doing wonders for me. <laughs> heard that that tone shift right when he gets to this part right there right there right there that was not the tone that i was expecting that was not the note i was expecting with the uh the guitar I'm sorry, I, I can't, I, I, I hate to say it like this, but I can't see the, these teeth anymore without thinking Kane from uh, The Amazing Digital Circus, which I'm kind of hoping Divide covers at some point, um, because that has been producing some amazing music. But every time I see these teeth now, I'm just thinking Kane. I'm expecting eyeballs in here and like, uh, freaking what's his uh I, I i don't know what the the head of a circus is um but uh yeah i'm just expecting you know that just like two eyeballs inside the mouth and and an eccentric attitude that was the first thing that came to mind when i saw this i didn't i didn't initially notice the divide music logo logo inside the mouth though that's kind of creative Hold on. I was thinking about that as I was listening to that. I feel like that particular scream has been used before in a Divide song, but I could be wrong about that. Not, not necessarily, uh, wait, um, what, what, who was it? Tyler Tate? Not necessarily Tyler Tate's voice, but 
that particular piece of lyrics. For some reason, it just resonates as something familiar to me from a Divide song. Okay, never mind. No hope given for the week. That is not the same thing that I was thinking of. Uh, I think it was something else that ended with week. Um, but I can't remember what song it was from, nor can I remember exactly what it was. It just sounded familiar to me. My my mistake. My uh, No pity for the week. Now I think of, I don't even know if that's a uh, Divide Music song. That might be something else. I'm almost positive that Sine Wave Fox said it. It may have been in a Fable song. It may have been in a Divide song. It may have been in a completely different song that I'm not recognizing, but I'm pretty sure it was No Pity for the Week that I was thinking of. That was nasty. That was one of the that was one of the grungiest songs from Divide Music that I have ever heard. And from what I know about Sukuna, it fits. That whole thing was just nothing but heavy metal epicness. There, I'm gonna let this run on mute so that, that way he gets the runtime that he deserves because oh my god. If there was a better way to end 2023. You got me. I have no idea how to do it because that that right there, that was perfect. That was the perfect ending for this year. And I'm so glad that I managed to get around to doing this. This was just. I can't wait for what he has in store for us in 20, 2024. And if he's working with artists outside of the nerdcore community. That, and and. I know that's not going to be a regular thing, obviously. But if more of that happens, the sky's the limit. There's just so much that could potentially happen if we get more of what we just heard now. Whether it be from more Tyler Tate, whether it be from, you know, a variety of different artists, both in and out of the community, like joining Divide on songs like this. The sky's the limit. So, yeah, I'm excited for the next year. I'm excited for the next year of music, the next year of divide. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for joining me. I am Mark Alpha 12, and I will see you in the next video.